Outside of mainstream comics, there's a whole world of contemporary graphic novels that have accumulated a large fan base over the years. Most of these stories venture into mature content, and they often take advantage of the medium to tell riveting, innovative, and compelling stories. All of which are important when it comes to crafting a story to tell on the big screen. So today we're looking at some of those obscure and non-traditional comics and graphic novels with our list of the top 10 niche comic books that got turned into movies. Also before we begin, we just want to let you guys know that there's a new channel we started called Fortnite Central. As you probably guessed, it's a channel entirely devoted to Fortnite, with videos featuring highlights, compilations, and lists. So definitely head on over there and check it out if you're a fan of Fortnite. Or if you just want to see what it's all about. Now let's get on to our list. Number 10, Flaming Carrot Comics. Created in 1979, Flaming Carrot of Flaming Carrot Comics is a parody superhero that explores the superhero genre. While the character itself has never seen a film adaptation, one of the aspects of the character's world has. At one point in the comic, the Flaming Carrot founds the blue collar superhero team, the Mystery Men, that would appear in a dream sequence of his in Flaming Carrot Comics number 16. The story was later adapted into the 1999 superhero comedy of the same name, starring Ben Stiller, William H. Macy, and Hank Azaria, as a group of heroes hungry to make a name for themselves. But they have pretty useless powers. Up next number 9, American Splendor. American Splendor is a series of autobiographical comics created by Harvey Picard in 1976, and featured a variety of other work by various artists. The film took a slightly different approach as an autobiography of Harvey, using the comics to dramatize his life. According to Harvey, Splendor was an attempt to stray away from the traditional mainstream use of comics, and to use the medium to tell a wider range of stories. I quote, When I was a little kid and I was reading these comics in the 40s, I kind of got sick of them because after a while they were just formulaic. He's also known for his philosophy. Comics are words and pictures. You can do anything with words and pictures. Up next number 8, Red. Red was a comic published by Wildstorm, whose rights are now owned by DC Comics. Created by Warren Ellis and Cully Hammer, Red is about a retired CIA agent whose status has changed from green to red, meaning he's now got to fight and fend for his survival in order to remain alive. The film took a lighter approach than the comic, and featured the likes of Bruce Willis, John Malkovich, Morgan Freeman, and Helen Mirren, along with a cast of other well-known actors who all find themselves hunted and scrambling to survive. The title's meaning was also changed to an acronym standing for Retired Extremely Dangerous. And at number 7, Time Cop. Starring Jean Claude Van Damme, the Time Cop film follows Van Damme seeking revenge on a corrupt politician who is responsible for the death of his wife. The comic, on the other hand, published by Dark Horse in 1992, is a three part series that follows a time traveling police officer and a robot bodyguard of a 1930s diamond thief set in South Africa. Despite the differences, the Time Cop adaptation was pretty successful and led to a sequel and a television series series that just kinda did so-so. In our number 6 spot, The Losers. Before Chris Evans was Captain America, and before Jeffrey Dean Morgan was the comedian, and before Zoe Saldana was Gamora, they were all part of a ragtag group of heroes called The Losers. The film was based off of the Vertigo comic of the same name that follows a special forces team working for the CIA, who were all left for dead. Out of revenge they go after the CIA and an individual who spearheads their operations named Max. The film had mixed reviews. In our number 5 spot, Ghost World. Starring Thora Birch, Scarlett Johansson and Steve Buscemi, the film adaptation of Daniel Cloud's Ghost World is a cult classic, following the small town lives of two cynical, pseudo intellectual, and incredibly witty teenage girls, and how, as they grow older, they start to grow apart. The film was penned by Klaus and Terry Zweigoff, and scored a nomination for Best Writing Adapted Screenplay at the Academy Awards. Up next at 4, The Extraordinary Adventures of Adele Blanc Sec. Directed by Luc Besson, The Extraordinary Adventures of Adele Blanc Sec was super underrated. Released in 2010, it was pretty unnoticed despite receiving fairly strong reviews. It's now adaptation of a comic that was published in 1976, and follows the far-fetched adventures of a mystery-solving woman, who is also a popular fiction writer. The comic started off as a parody of over-the-top gas lamp fantasy fiction, but it's noted for getting into some pretty dark territory when exploring stories post-World War I. The film is loosely based off of the comic's events, and follows Adele and her adventures in 1910's Paris. Up next at 3, Blue is the Warmest Color. Initially titled Blue Angel, Blue is the Warmest Color is a French graphic novel by Julie Moreau, about two young women who fall in love, and the ups and downs of their relationship. The comic was adapted in 2013 and won the prestigious Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival that year. It also came under a lot of controversy for its gratuitous, realistic sex scenes and how they were filmed. The film version also has a different ending than the graphic novel, spoilers, in which Adele is still alive. In our number 2 spot, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. The six issue Scott Pilgrim series was crafted by Brian Lee O'Malley and is a manga and video game influenced love letter to Toronto. It's filled with pop culture references and has a cast of young, comically troubled adults. It follows the story of Scott Pilgrim, a guy
guy who falls for a girl named Ramona Flowers, and in order to be with her, he must fight off her seven evil exes. The film was adapted by Edgar Wright, and while it didn't do overly well at the box office, many see it as one of the best comic book film adaptations to date, managing to capture the essence of the comics without sacrificing much, minus Scott being played by Michael Cera, which some fans weren't overly keen on. And finally, in our number one spot, Persopolis. An autobiographical graphic novel, Persopolis follows the childhood and early adult years of a young woman growing up in Iran, during and after the Islamic Revolution. Part of the new wave of autobiographical writing by diasporic Iranian women, it's been described by Time magazine as sometimes funny and sometimes sad, but always sincere and revealing. It not only focuses on growing up as a girl in an often oppressive culture towards women, but also the daily dangers and tragedies that a war of that scale was capable of causing. The critically acclaimed film adaptation of the same name was nominated for Best Animated Feature at the 2008 Academy Awards. Despite this, both film and comic have had to deal with their fair share of controversy. In the US, parents from the Washington North Shore School District objected to it being part of the curriculum, because it contained disturbing themes and content. Alright, there we have it friends. Which of these comics is your favorite? Are there any that you guys have never heard of before this list? Let us know in those comments below. If you dug this video, please show some love by hitting that like button. Subscribe if you want to hang out with us some more. And don't forget to check out some of our other nerdy videos, like the ones flashing in the playlist currently on your screen. And make sure you check out Fortnite Central too. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. Catch you all in the next video.